Hi everyone, George here. I'm here at the Art of the Planted Aquarium Contest in Magdeburg, Germany. Great event, it's the last day. All the scapes are finished, I'll show you around them later. But I wanted to show you the four scapes that I did with myself, Oliver Knott, Adam Pascella, and Dave Chow. Uh, let me know in the comments which of the four is your favorite and why. Always read all of your comments and I always really appreciate it. Let's go and take a look at these epic scapes. So yes, these four scapes were created yesterday live in front of an audience. It was live streamed as well. You can check out that live stream on my channel and also there's a better quality live stream on the Aqua Owner channel. So I'll leave links to those in the description if you want to check out the, uh, the whole process of how these were created, including some great commentary by Yuri's uh, in English and German. So let's go and take a look at each scape in more detail and yeah, just show you some of the plants and some of the hardscape and the skill that these guys have used. So this is Oliver's tank, Oliver Knott. Most of you will have heard of Oliver, very well known um, professional aquascaper, travels the world, does lots of different work for different companies. Super skilled aquascaper. I think he said to me yesterday he does around 150 aquascapes every year so that's almost one every two days which is pretty incredible and this is like a stream effect uh, aquascape he's, he's lowered the water level he's got uh, one of the uh, pantarai pumps here which are used in the flow to go aquarium systems very dominant now with some west african plants we've got uh, bulbitis anubius heavy use of frodo stone some nice branch with the uh, Crinum there as well, another African plant. And we've just got we've got some hydrocotyl tropartita just wedged in there in between the stone. And then some looks like helanthium, tenalum, a little bit of carpeting plant right there in the foreground. So all these plants were supplied by Tropica Aquarium plants. I think the whole contest used I think four or five thousand pots altogether, which is pretty incredible. And a testament really to Tropica's kind of you know, dedication to helping to promote aquascaping and the hobby in general. And you can just see the quality of them as well. Really, really beautiful. So, great scape by Oliver, really different, almost like a stream or a river effect with super heavy use of this Frodo stone. Okay, moving over to Adam Pascella. Some of you may have seen uh, my visit uh, visited Adam's uh, studio a couple of times now in Poland. I created a playlist, uh, I think it's three or four videos on there from my time there, so check that out. Uh, super talented aquascaper, really, really nice guy as well. Really proud to call him one of my good friends. And as you can see, really, really great use of uh, Frodo stone again here. Nice little touches with the moss wedged into the, into the little cracks in between the rock. Two types of Eliocaris there, Eliocaris uh, parvula in the background from the regular pot. And then we've got the Tropica 1 2 Grow Eliocaris acicularis mini. And again, a very hardscape dominated layout. Great use of the graded gravels there, some nice little detail, detailing work. This is a technique that anyone can use, just mix up different textures as long as they've got the kind of similar colour. It can make a uh, layout look really, really natural, really beautiful. Here we have Dave Chow's layout. Dave's well known for his strong hardscapes, Asian style, real dominant driftwood at the front here. Again, using a Frodo stone. Lovely detailing work there, just amongst the foreground. Lots of epiphyte plants and trident fern, mosses, anubias, stem plants in the back, some Hygophila pinnatifida, some sort of Hygophila polysperma, some small crypts, crypt parva in the foreground there. Uh, it's like the Bostabin erectus stem plant in the back. And again, all plants provided by Tropica aquarium plants. A 
UK. Last but not least, this is the layout I created. So it's really densely planted. I've gone for a bit of a different approach to the guys. I haven't used any Frodo stone. I've used this new kind of black mini landscape rock, very similar to Siriu, but it's been, I think it's been acid washed to make it, give it this darker gray color. Red wall roots or branchy roots or branchy wood goes by lots of different names. We use four pieces all together. And you can see all the classic plants that I love. Crips, ferns, Zenubius, Buca Philandra. And in the background, I have a mixture of the Eleocaris montedevensis and the Cyprus Helferi. So nothing too groundbreaking. I just wanted to showcase the plants, really. It is the part of the planted aquarium contest, so I wanted to use more plants than hardscape in here. And I think it's great that we've all done different style of layout. We were all given a bit of a brief. I was asked to do a wood-based layout. Dave was going to do nature style. And then Adam Iwagumi, which is rock only, and Oliver freestyle. So as you can see, four very different layouts to suit all tastes. And I think this is great to show the live audience and those that are watching at home you know, what you can achieve in a couple of hours. I think the whole workshop lasted about three and a half hours. I was kind of finished in about two. And we were given a brief of trying to get it done in 90 minutes to two hours. So that's what I tried to do. And then a couple of the other guys were a little bit slower. And you can see why the amount of detail and skill that's gone into these hardscapes in particular. Okay guys, that wraps it up for this video. I really hope you enjoyed that. Give me a thumbs up if you did and leave me a comment. Which of those four scapes is your favorite? And let me know why. What is it about that aquascape that really appeals to you? Is it the planting? Is it the hardscape? Is it the sustainability? Think about, you know, is it an aquascape you'd like to live with? You know, just think about all these kind of things that makes, you know, what does make a successful aquascape to you? Let me know what you think. Always read your comments. I always really appreciate it. You take care and cheerio from Germany. Yeah, hi everyone. Just the final note to say, as I'm recording this, I'm on my way home from Germany. Been pretty much almost three weeks uh, traveling away from home, so really looking forward to having a stint at home doing some content uh, from the GFS gallery and yeah, just getting back to a kind of more regular routine. So, hopefully, you've enjoyed my trips abroad. I've really loved creating the content for you guys. 
and really appreciate all the support. I appreciate you viewing my content. And yeah, what else can I say? We just keep on escaping. Cheerio.